Okay, we've got a video modeling uh, an example of an inductive proof, and we're required to prove that 1 plus 2 plus 3, etc., up to n is equal to n multiplied by n plus 1 over 2. So with induction, um, normally we would write RTP, but that's already written, us, written for us there, and we've got the base case first up. So the domino analogy is that, yep, we have to show that first domino falls. Base case where n equals 1. <clears throat> okay, so on the left hand side we can see that string. Well, n is the number of terms, and in the base case, n equals 1. So we only have the one term. So left hand side simply equals 1. Okay, it'll just be that first term, that 1 there. The right hand side, well, we have that expression. So we need to substitute 1 into that expression. So wherever there's an n, we need to sub in 1. So we have 1 times 1 plus 1 in brackets, which is 2, all divided by 2. So that's 2 over 2, which equals 1. So therefore, it holds for base case, for n equals 1. Or you could write base case there. Next step. This is uh, the inductive hypothesis. So induct hypothesis. This is synonymous with that random domino. So that we choose the kth domino, any domino at random. So it, uh, n equals k, so it's simply just for the expression above, we simply substitute. So we can see the expression up there. We simply substitute k. So we'll have 1 plus 2 plus 3, etc. Up to k. We have k substituted in the right hand side of the given equation. Okay, which seems pretty trivial. However, it is an important step because from here we move to the k plus 1th term. So, moving from the inductive hypothesis, going through the inductive step, this process, this is a process, inductive step. Now, the word induct kind of means to bring about or bring on the, another or the next. Okay, did you hear that? So, that's, that's like you can induct magnetism um, with a metallic object by stroking all the grains into one direction okay so it's to bring about something or to to align something with what's coming ahead so we're doing an inductive step here and we uh, that nth domino if we basically can show for any sorry that kth domino for any k domino the next one will fall if the, if the kth one falls in all cases we we make n equals k plus 1 1 plus 2 plus 3 on the left hand side etc now what we had was up to k the k plus 1th term would be the next one so we would have that as our last two our last two terms in that series one of the axioms we know is that what you do to the left hand side, you do to the right. So if two things are equal, you do the same thing, apply the same operation to both the left and the right. We still have two things that are equal. So we had this on the left. What did we just do? We did that to the left, 
right. So we need to do that here to the right for them to still be equal. So we added the next term, k plus 1. Now let's simplify the right hand side only. So we're simplifying this right hand side. So developing developing the right hand side. Let's have a look at what we have. We have <coughs> we can expand if we like. So we have k squared plus k over two. Now what we have here with the term highlighted in green, we have something that's actually over 1 at the moment. Okay, that might seem a bit trivial, but that is that is understood to be over 1. How do we make it so that we have a common denominator? Well, we can simply multiply the top and bottom by the same value. So the k plus 1, if we multiply the top by 2, We'll need to multiply the bottom by 2 to retain the same value that we had before. So we have k squared plus k over 2 plus expanding this part now 2k plus 2 over 2. Just a note, remember with any video, if you're confused, you may need to pause or rewind. Now that they are all over 2, you can share the same vinculum. So we have k squared, k plus 2k is 3k collecting like terms and simplifying, and then plus 2. We cannot develop that any further, but that result we're going to mark, and we'll come back to that. Now if we just reflect for a second here, <clears throat> when we went back um, to that step that had the green, the green uh, highlighting on it, that step up there, that was done, we, we inducted the next term on, by applying the next term k plus 1 and using the axiom where if two things are equal and we apply an operation to the left it's still equal if we, if we apply the operation to the right hand side as well. There is another way of realizing this result here with the asterisk beside it. It is simply by looking back and thinking in every case from the base case onwards that right hand expression we get that by substituting in for n. So that's the initial expression. And with the base case, we substituted in 1 there, there, for the inductive term, k. We substituted in k. So for the k plus 1th term, we need to substitute in k plus 1. So we can say, but for n equals k plus 1, we also have, in other words, the right-hand side. So instead of the original right-hand side, we can substitute in. So the right-hand side, n outside of n plus 1 over 2, we can also write it as for, sorry, that should say k plus 1, apologies. So the other way of writing um, the term for k plus 1, if we got n outside of n plus 1 on 2, the given right-hand side, we can write, instead of n, we can write k plus 1, and then you can see the, um, the resemblance or the corresponding aspects of it. So the n there has been replaced with a k plus 1 there. The n here, same n, replaced with k plus 1 there. 
and we have all of the constants there, the one, and obviously the two on the bottom there. Okay. Time to expand. So we have k plus one. That's the yellow term above. This term with the the blue and the yellow that can be written as k plus two. So we have k plus one times k plus two over two. We can apply FOIL first, outer, inner, last, so that's k squared. Now we have plus k plus 2k. And then the second by the second, 2 times 1 is 2. You might be able to do this in one fewer step. Just um, You might already be able to simplify that middle step in your head and have 3k as I'm writing now. That's as far as we can simplify that. Now, this result here, I'm going to call double asterisk. Compare it to single asterisk there. k squared plus 3k plus 2 over 2. k squared plus 3k plus 2 over 2. Thus, it's proven for base case, or n equals 1. And when n equals k, any random domino, remember the domino activity, and when n equals k, it holds for n equals k plus 1. Therefore, by induction, or by mathematical induction, is proven for positive integers. This would hold also for all integers, okay? But at this stage we're just focusing on positive integers when we're learning induction. That's what we do. So that's QED.